Hey, what's up guys? This is Dave Shrine and I want to show you how to control exactly what image is seen when you share a URL on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, even the URL that is given a preview when you send a text message. It's not difficult. Matter of fact, it's really easy. And we're going to start off by showing you how to accomplish this using WordPress. By far the most popular website builder out there today. So we've got our image, we've got our page right here, and we've got a new page that we just set up. And so on this particular page right here, we want to ensure that when we share this on any social media platform or anywhere a thumbnail preview is generated, it shows exactly the content that we want it to show. We don't want uh, it to be a guessing game and social media networks to pull the you know an image from way down. We want to dictate what this looks like. On WordPress, it really could not be easier than downloading simply a plugin that allows you to do this, and I like to recommend Yoast SEO. Why? Because Yoast SEO is pretty much the gold standard for determining your SEO, your search engine optimization settings, your titles, descriptions, URLs, uh, keyword ratings, etc. But it also allows you to designate a social sharing image for the social network platforms. Uh, and more specifically, it ties in your settings to Open Graph. So if you ever see Meta OG, it's Open Graph Protocol. And that's what these sites are looking for in order to determine what to display when you share the image. So if you download Yoast SEO and install it, once you activate it, when you go into a page in the background, and so this is our page, this is the background, the only difference between Yoast Premium and Yoast Free is this tab setting right here on social. When you're using Premium, it shows you a preview of what your social sharing will look like. On the free version, it just gives you the ability to type in your title, your description, and choose an image. So this section is gone. You can do the same thing uh, for Twitter as well down here. That's the only difference. So select your image, type in what you want the title to be, choose a description, and click Update. And so now we've got our link right here. And we're going to go into what is called first, we're going to go into the Facebook debugger. And so the Facebook debugger, you could just do a Google search for it. This is where you get to see exactly what Facebook sees. So you're going to paste your URL, you're going to click debug. And since I have already done this and debugged this particular URL, it goes very quickly and it shows me exactly what I want to see. So this is what it says it's going to show. This is what Facebook actually sees. That's great. Well, if you're sharing a URL for the very first time, it may not pull in the settings that you dictated inside of Yoast SEO or any other plugin that you use. There's another one called Social Warfare, and that's a very popular one. Lots of different options. There's a little tool right here that Facebook gives you called Scrape Again. So if you're sharing a URL for the very first time, meaning it's a brand new page and you've never shared it on social anywhere, Click this Scrape Again button, and you may have to do it two or three times, and eventually it'll show your information. If it doesn't show your information after two or three times, you may have some caching uh, on your website that you need to clear. There may be some other issues with your hosting, but for the most part, two or three times will allow Facebook to do enough scrapes to see exactly what it is you want to show Facebook. Now, if you change this information in the future, you go back to the Facebook debugger, put in your URL, click debug, and then say scrape again. And when you click scrape again, it's going to do a fresh scrape for the new image or the new text that you've entered. So this is an event. We're going to update this page for 2022, and we're going to assign a new image and a new title. We'll come back. We'll click scrape again. So that's Facebook debugger. Now we're going to look at Twitter. It's Twitter card validator. So for Facebook, it's the debugger. For Twitter, it is the card validator. We're going to paste our URL, and we're going to click Preview Card. And on Twitter, it shows us exactly what it's going to look like. And you'll notice that it's identical to what we see right here. So that's the Twitter card validator. And again, if you change this information in the future, come back to the validator, put in your URL, click Preview Card, and make sure it shows the updated information. Lastly, we're going to look at LinkedIn Post Inspector. 
And the post inspector is just like the first two. You paste your URL, you click inspect, and it pulls up exactly what you set inside of Yoast SEO. And it shows you all of this information down here. So that's how you do it in WordPress. Now what if you're using Wix? What if you're using Squarespace? Well, it's very simple to find out how to do that. Go to the documents, the help documents on whatever your website builder is and do a search for social sharing image or uh, set social sharing image. In this case, changing your social sharing image. And it'll go through and it'll show you exactly how to accomplish, accomplish this using that builder. So this is for Wix. If you look at Squarespace adding social sharing images, and it gives you the instructions right here. So that is Facebook debugger, Twitter card validator, linked in post inspector, and then creating our settings using Yoast SEO or searching for how to set those uh, parameters using whatever website builder you have built your website using. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Happy to answer and help any way that I can. Thanks so much for watching and go out there and make some awesome social sharing images now.